half the people that go to college in the United States never finish. Well, everybody wants to blame the person, the kid, the student. I'm like, don't blame them, blame us. I think people often forget that the schools that we all have gone to were built around a very powerful technology, the printing press. And largely, we communicate through oral lecture and books. We teach students to memorize things for the sake of memorizing things without letting them know how those things are useful or giving them an immediate need to know those things. The national dropout rate in biology is about 48%. So we just have a passion to figure out how do we fix these areas in biology, how do we fix these areas of STEM and ensure that we have enough graduates to fulfill the jobs that are coming up in the coming years. The central problem that education faces is not unlike the one that entertainment faces, which is simply how do you engage an audience? If you cannot engage an audience, they will not stay with your movie, and if you can't engage the student, they won't stay with the material. Identity authenticated. The IWF, in partnership with Arizona State University, has determined that you will be among the first scientists from your planet to encounter these extraordinary creatures in hopes that you can contribute to their survival. A combination of Hollywood genius with Walter Parks and Steven Spielberg matched with the most innovative university in the United States finally has a breakthrough on something that everybody wants, which is completely new ways to enhance our national success and national outcomes by enhanced learning tools. You beam up to an alien zoo orbiting the Earth designed with every richness of storytelling that you can conceivably imagine. And then all of a sudden you're in a biological experience where you're actually solving problems as a scientist. We could use this to revolutionize the way that we actually teach our students and give them true experiences around what we call education through exploration. Dreamscape Immersive brought the cutting edge technologies, the virtual reality, the Hollywood storytelling. Welcome to the sick bay where we treat diseased or injured creatures. Where ASU brought to the table the cutting edge pedagogy, the subject matter experts, and the creative talent to think about how are we gonna educate students in novel and innovative ways. It feels like you're in another world. You put the headset on and you get in and the chair vibrates and there's wind blowing in your face and uh, it's really immersive. It's kind of like a dream where you can actually be in there and you can look around and you can say, wow. I can feel all of these things because I feel like I'm there. Allow this student the excitement and the engagement of going into this extraordinary world, but use that to tell stories in which they are the stars. Zor is the alpha of this herd. She's disoriented. We need to determine the cause. Engage them emotionally in the quest, in the problem, and then give them the tools to come to the conclusion through their own internal processes as opposed to giving them the answer. There is a real emotional attachment that makes a huge difference in terms of how you approach your coursework. It's no longer just, hey, let me get my homework done to get it done. It's, I need to save these creatures. It's really the narrative that gets you wanting to do more, it gets you wanting to understand what the problem is and how you can solve it. Click the button to switch to Microbot View now. You are now inside the aorta, which we can travel along to enter into the heart. What we did when we built this curriculum is we thought, how do we explicitly teach that skill and capture in a process where students aren't thinking, oh, one day I'll be able to do this when I go to graduate school, but I'm doing this now as a biologist working for an intergalactic wildlife sanctuary to save endangered species throughout the galaxy. When you're seeing that students realize, I learned a transferable skill that I can actually use in real life now. That's exciting, that's why we do this. Alien Zoo access session ending in three, two, one. The university environment itself wants to be re-energized. Universities should be exciting places to go to, and not something which it feels like a requirement, but something which feels like a privilege and something you want to do. What building Dreamscape Warren did was allow us to make a more rigorous curriculum than we were doing before, but students were even more successful at it. 
We've seen up to 40% learning enhancements in our biology labs. That's three and a half grade levels. In our traditional curriculum, we can have some very large gaps between the median performance of the class and the median performance of certain underrepresented groups. And in Dreamscape Learn, the biggest gap we had was between three and 4%. We're reaching everybody. Walking into these classrooms after they've completed VR and they're still engaging in the rest of the content. They're not even in the VR portion, they're back in class and they are wildly excited about doing quantitative analysis in Excel. I don't think any other university could have taken on this project besides ASU. They are laser focused on the future of education. We started with biology, we're moving next to chemistry, we're moving to planetary systems, earth science, we're moving to astronomy, we're going to ultimately move to other more complicated subjects. This is particularly for the people that are focused on wanting to enhance national security through STEM education, national problem solving through complex systems understanding about how the earth works. We now have the system that can do that and we have proven it. This is the future of education is immersion. It's experiential and I think this has amazing potential. Offering up and transferring education and skills that will serve them for a lifetime, uh, I'll take that. You need to experience how we have figured out how to excite the brain in learning things that are difficult to teach. And, and once you see that, you'll see what this has as an opportunity.